Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you my full review of the Fairweather tab, their Modulus Recurve tab. So a little backstory on me and this tab, I've been shooting it for several months now. Things did get a little complicated with, uh, you know, the pandemic going on in the world, but I have tested it and overall I'm really happy with it. I have a few little critiques here and there, but overall this is an excellent finger tab. I'm going to try to give you some examples uh, of other tabs it kind of relates to, uh, just to give you guys a better idea. You know, if you're looking to get this tab, uh, you know, what tab will it be closer to? It is definitely its own thing, but I want to give you an idea on you know what I noticed when testing it. So first off, uh, just looking at this tab overall, uh, some of the things that come to mind right away is the fact that there's only one screw, which is kind of crazy. This one screw here not only attaches uh, the ring uh, that's gonna hold your finger and the finger spacer, but it also locks in uh, your three pieces of kangaroo leather and your plate here that will have or not have your shelf on it depending on what plate you decide to install. Uh, that in itself is a major game changer in my opinion because I could spend a good half an hour or more just trying to unscrew and reassemble other finger tabs that I've owned. And this is ranging from just changing out the straps on the tab or changing out the leather on the tab. Uh, for this tab, you just loosen one screw. So it's gonna save you a lot of time and effort and just overall headache uh, because there has been times with some other tabs where you forget to weave one of the straps and you get it all locked down and finished, think you're done and you look at it and you say, now I can't put this on my hand because I didn't weave it through correctly. Now I have to totally disassemble it to go and fix it. That is not the case with this finger tab. There's only one screw. There's not too much you can mess up, and if you do, it's easy to fix. With that, another thing that really sticks out is this ring design and how it's integrated into the finger spacer. Uh, they have several different sizes of rings. Uh, more more in-depth information and explanation of that can be found on the Fairweather site. I will have a link in the description down below. Highly recommend you check that out. Uh, that way you can see how you go about measuring your finger and figuring out what ring size uh, you need for your finger tab here. Uh, for me, I ended up actually going with two different ring sizes. The first time I measured it, uh, I was a little heavier, a little fluffier. Uh, so I thought I needed, you know, uh, I think it was a 21. Well, <laughs> after getting it in, I realized, uh, yeah, either I lost some weight or, you know, probably I lost some weight. Uh, 21 was definitely not going to fit the bill. Um, it did still stay on my hand, but it didn't take um, as much effort to pull it off. Uh, this here is a size 20, and for me, I think it fits pretty good. You can feel it stretch a little bit to expand over uh, the knuckle here on my finger. And then it takes a little bit of force to actually get it off. And I think this is perfect. Again, you could possibly go a little bit smaller, but for me, I wouldn't go any bigger than this. And when going for these, it's probably better to go with a smaller size than a bigger size, because the worst case, it's gonna be hard to just be a little tighter to get it onto your hand, but at least it'll stay there. If you go too big, it's gonna just wanna constantly move and, and, and flop off. Um, overall though, their system for choosing uh, what size you need is really good and there's great information on it, so it's definitely more of my fault with not maintaining a, a particular body weight um, than it is their fault for not explaining how to measure your finger correctly because they, they got that covered. Another nice point about having uh, this ring that's permanently attached to the finger spacer is it's not gonna wear out, or it's not gonna wear out as fast as your traditional straps wear out on a finger tab. 
I end up replacing my straps at least every six months uh, just because they start getting nasty and worn out. Uh, for this, I see this lasting a lot longer. Uh, not only can you easily detach it from uh, you know, your tab for cleaning, uh, it just seems to be made out of better materials than that loose, loosely woven you know, fabric or nylon strapping to that normally attaches your finger tab to your hand. Now for the face on this finger tab, you actually get one, two, three pieces of kangaroo leather. Yes, kangaroo leather. And they are of course bolted by that single bolt again, so easy to remove, easy to replace. Uh, the cool thing about the kangaroo leather, I personally feel like it is as slippery and as nice as the Cordovan, but with a few other advantages. Um, the hairs on a kangaroo, the, the pores, how they run, is unidirectional. They run one direction. So you don't have to worry about trying to play a certain game of getting your you know, finger tab you know, the correct way. Uh, you also don't have to worry about thickness inconsistencies because Cordovan is generally made, uh, from my understanding, from the rear quarter of a horse and that can actually fluctuate in thickness greatly because I personally have ordered uh, replacement faces from other brands and you get anywhere from maybe a half a millimeter to like two millimeters difference uh, in the thickness of your leathers and it's very inconsistent to get the same feel when replacing your leathers. For uh, this tab here and the kangaroo, you don't have that issue because kangaroo hide is just so much more consistent. Look at these, these all essentially exactly the same. Yes, they have some wear and tear on them because I've been shooting with this tab a lot, but they were identical when this tab came to me and I think that's pretty amazing. It's just another little thing that, that's getting smoothed out in your shooting process. If you don't have to play the game of making sure that you got the exact same thickness of leather every single time, that's just one thing you don't have to worry about. It's one less inconsistency in your shot uh, and it should help you be a little bit more consistent in your shooting because you got less variables to play with. Now on to uh, the back plate here on the Fairweather Modulus. Uh, pretty cool that they offer a, uh, like a plastic version and they offer this metal version here. I personally like the metal, it's much heavier. I'm used to a heavier finger tab. Uh, the metal was extra, uh, it, but it does come stock with a plastic one. Uh, you can also get the plate without a shelf, which is really nice. Uh, so there, so there is some thought that Fairweather put into this, knowing that archers, being archers, like to customize things to fit, uh, you know, their shooting style or in just shooting habits that they like. So uh, they've done a pretty good job uh, catering to that. Uh, my only thing would be, and I know it would add a screw, but it would be kind of cool to actually have an adjustable shelf. I know, kind of going back to how everyone else does a finger tab, but just one screw, and it only works for the shelf, just for those archers that maybe, do, that maybe don't want a shelf in this particular position. If it had its own little arm down here with a, you know, a screw or two, you probably want two, and you could just change you know, forwards and backwards and it's up and down just a little bit, I think it would add even more to an already awesome product here. Uh, and it would also not make it too much more complicated. You know, we'd have, we have three screws instead of one, and you would still only be unscrewing the one. In my mind, hopefully there'd be some way that those two screws that held the shelf would only be attached to the plate. I don't know, just my two cents from shooting the product. Uh, but overall, I haven't really had an issue uh, with the shelf, but some other archers might, and I'm just trying to you know, provide options for future development of this product. Now, another thing that's really great about the Fairweather tab is the case it comes in. Yeah, a case. Um, I don't recall any other company actually sending you a reasonable case for a finger tab. 
Now you're probably thinking, well, it's not too necessary. I just throw it in my quiver. But what happens if you want to bring extra leathers or an extra finger spacer and ring? What are you going to do? Put them in a Ziploc bag? You could, but that's a sure way to probably get them lost. But Fairweather supplies you with a case. Not only does your tab fit nicely right in here, but you can also store additional goodies up top in this case. Look, ah, uh, here was the original plate. Uh, this tab you are seeing is a large tab. So there's the original plate without a shelf. Original place plate with a shelf. And of course, my other size that I didn't fit. And yes, it was a 21. But you can keep all these goodies together. They won't get lost. Maybe I'm having an extra fluffy day and I'm like, oh, the 21's coming back in, Anthony. Way too many pancakes this morning. I don't know what happened. Uh, you have all this at hand. You don't have to go hunting through pockets in your bow case or your quiver. You know where it's at. All my gear for my Fairweather tab is in the Fairweather case. And it comes supplied to you with your purchase of a Fairweather tab. I personally think it's really smart. Uh, I know it makes my life more simple, uh, especially since with other tabs, I was also carrying around, uh, well, in some cases, a screwdriver and a pair of, uh, a whole set of Allen keys plus extra screws just in case they fell out. Because remember, this has one screw. Most other tabs have about eight. So you need some extra screws there because, you know, screws come loose. And uh, you, you, you want to fix them because you want to stay as consistent as possible in your shooting. And it's great that this is all together and it makes your life simpler. I know it makes mine easier. So with that, um, is the Fairweather tab uh, the end-all be-all tab that shall dominate everything? I don't know. That's going to be up to you and your decisions and your feelings on this particular tab. I know it speaks volumes to me with how easy it is to replace the kangaroo leather. Uh, the consistency of the kangaroo leather, I like not playing the strap game uh, to a degree. Uh, I also like, for me, uh, how my hand sits with this finger tab. For me, it actually opens up my hand some more. Uh, some of the other tabs, even though they are considered larges, uh, for some reason I feel like my hand is a little more crunched up. I don't know if it's that particular tab, but I do feel a little bit more flat and kind of open with my hand. And I would argue and to say that I might actually have a little bit smoother release with this tab, which is interesting because of it keeping my hand flatter and just how things uh, and the string and everything rolls off and reacts together so nicely. Uh, now, you're probably wondering, uh, what tab is this closest to? From my experience personally, was actually the AAE Elite Finger Tab. Uh, just the feeling of it in my hand and how it kind of sets up my hand felt very similar. Uh, other than that though, uh, this tab totally blows it out of the water. It is definitely like the 2.0 version of it. I know this is not a comparison video, but I am just trying to give you an idea on you know, maybe what to expect. Uh, that's the first thing that came to mind when I started shooting with this tab. It really reminded me of the AAE Elite finger tab, but this is just a much better design and just the overall performance of this tab for me just feels better. It feels more natural uh, and it just, just works more efficiently. So there's my review for the Fairweather Modulus finger tab. Pretty awesome tab. Definitely go and check out the Fairweather website in the description down below. Uh, check out to see uh, you know where they distribute to and how you can get one to your door and who you can get it through. Um, other than that, hopefully you enjoyed this review. I put thousands of arrows through this tab uh, to bring you this review and try to give you as much relevant information as possible. So hopefully you enjoyed watching. Please like and subscribe and as always, happy shooting.